Let's establish some of the jargon for oxidation and reduction, redox, reactions. Now, I want to start out by giving you the mnemonic that you can use to keep track of this. Oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons. You see that here. And reduction is gain of electrons. Now, calcium started out with its calcium. It's in column two. It had two outer shell electrons. And so we had calcium. Or if we wanted to spread them out, we could have it look like that for a Lewis dot structure. When we take away the electrons, when it loses its electrons, we'll end up with calcium 2 plus and two electrons, just like you see in this equation. So this would be an oxidation reaction. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction is gain of electrons. If I take fluorine with seven valence electrons, fluorine with another seven outer shell electrons, we'll have 14 electrons to work with. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Fluorine each has seven electrons that it's currently owning, right? And if I go ahead and I turn that bond just into dots, it really becomes apparent. If I give it two more electrons, I'm going to have the fluoride ion on both sides, and they are going to be very stable on their own, right? They're going to fly apart from each other. They're also both going to have a negative one charge. That's what we've got written here. Two fluoride ions, two F minus. Now, that's going to be a case where it gained electrons, and that means it was reduced. But notice, we gain electrons when we are reduced. What's happening there is the oxidation number was reduced. We'll see that, but let's not focus on that for your memorization, because there are way too many ways that you can easily and innocently stumble thinking about it like that. Instead, I encourage you to use a mnemonic like this one. And yes, there are others out there that you can study. Oil rig is a great one for oxidation and reduction. Now, oxidation agents are going to cause oxidation, which means that they're actually accepting electrons. Now, that's a weird kind of notation. And let me give you an example from every, well, maybe not everyday life, but kind of an, a common on TV example. When you've got a hitman, they're a murder agent, right? Now, the mur they're supposed to be causing the murder. At least that's how it's going to work in the movie that you're watching. Yes, there's a good chance they're probably going to get shot in the end, but that's because they're bad guys. The key thing is they are the agent. They are the one doing the thing that makes something happen. They're not the ones getting murdered. They're the one doing the thing that causes murder. Oxidation agents are the ones doing the action, causing something else to be oxidized. That's the way that you want to think through this. Yes, there are more cheerful examples of that, but hopefully that one will stick in your mind, or at least you'll find one that does. Reduction agents, similarly, are going to cause something else to be reduced. And that means they're going to donate electrons to cause something else to gain electrons. So this mnemonic will help you keep straight this one, and then the agent will like, let you make that tweak. Now let's keep going with some of the jargon that we use for oxidation reduction reactions. If we have a transfer like this going on, where something has lost electrons to another atom, X is going to lose electrons. If it lost electrons, it is being oxidized. That means it is the oxidation, as the reducing agent and it's going to increase its oxidation number. Now, what I mean by that is calcium, in this case, is calcium zero. If we're thinking through how we think about transition metals, the charge on the transition metal is the oxidation number, right? Well, the charge on this is two plus, and so it has gone from a zero to two plus. It increased its oxidation number. Y, on the other hand, has received an electron it gained electrons. That means it has been reduced. That makes it the oxidation agent. And it means that its oxidation number has been decreased. When you have an elemental form, its oxidation number will be zero, just like we had here for the neutral calcium atom. So we go from a zero to a negative one charge, and 
in a simple form, oxidation number and charge are going to be very similar. We'll see details on that in another video, but it's a starting point for when we're talking about oxidation numbers, only a starting point. We went from zero to negative one. That's a smaller number, and so it decreased its oxidation number. That's the sort of thing we're talking about with our jargon and our notation for oxidation and reduction, redox, reactions.